All right, the finale of season two. We are finally here. I'm excited for season three. And now that season four got announced, I'm very excited for that. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, season two, episode 12, Song of Love, Goddess and Child. Hestia was indeed kidnapped by Ares from the Rakia kingdom. Uh, Bell, Eyes, and Asfi were working to get her back. Asfi is currently chained up, literally. Meanwhile, Eyes and Bell, who gotten her free and she fell down a river, ravine, cliff, cavern thing, um, we ended up falling after her. So it's going to be our little trio down there, and we're going to see how that works out. I'm excited. Remember guys, with the first and last episode of every season of all the animes that we're watching, the full length, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available to you guys for free. So click that link in the top of the description if you guys enjoy that format and want to keep it that way for the rest of the shows that you're watching with me. Make sure to check out that Patreon, always is available for you guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter at DapperDarius. Let's hop into this. Don Machi Season 2, Episode 12, Song of Love, Goddess and Child. Were we able to actually make it out of there? Mayor's house. Is this the mayor? Arm. What's going on with Karm? What's going on with the mayor? He clearly has something a little extra about him. I'm curious. I don't like that. I want Asfi to be okay. Ooh. Oh, uh, so he's relatively old, sick. Man, getting old sucks, man. I wonder what that shield he was holding was. Maybe he's an ex-adventurer? Maybe he knows of Hestia? This does seem to be a nice village. I've always wanted to have tea in like a little plate. I've never had tea in a little plate and cup before. I agree. Let's help out with this festival. Let's do it, Bill. That's eyes? Oh my god. I was like, who is this? They were not wrong. <laughs> it's always nice helping people out who helped us, you know. Yeah. Trust me when I tell you, man, they are. You gotta go visit Orario sometime. Bro, I cannot wait till Bell becomes that hero who can beat the Black Dragon. I'm praying one day that that happens. Imagine Bell being a level 6. When it was driven from Orario by the great hero and fled north. Hmm. So it's not in Orario? Big ones, little ones are 10 and all. I'm just saying, imagine Bell being level 6 with all the women he's gathered so far next to his side, looking like Otaro. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. It's thanks to these that the village isn't attacked by monsters. Yeah, do they have some natural, like, pheromones? Hey, if I was a monster and I seen a black dragon scale, I'm not coming near that village. So they make them little shrines. Understand. They have their own weird relationship with deities and adventurers and all that. Right? It's a weird thing to think about. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I just got, like, goosebumps from the way she looks, but... 
I know her mother and father were. I don't know about her mother, but I know her father was an adventurer. Eyes, I'm talking about. And I know the people or the the beings. I don't know what they are down there on floor sixty. I have their name like Revis and all them. Those people know Eyes's mother at least. So if I had to assume based on the way she looked at these black scales when the Zeus and Hera familia went down to destroy the three great quests and the black dragon killed the Zeus and the Hera familia am I correct in assuming Isa's uh, parents were among those killed? So they're not gonna go deeper into that. I like that. I kind of like just just playing at that little mystery, but I'm all, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yep. Let's see what's going on with Karm. Damn, this is a dangerous floor in the dungeon. Oh my goodness gracious. That's the light going back to heaven too, wow. Man, that's, that's horrible. Understandably, that's a awful predicament, man. Damn. Wait. So Rina is a. Oh, I thought she was. A, okay. I thought you were gonna say she's a demigod. I was gonna. Okay. Touche. Touche. So it makes sense why Karm was looking and so willing to help out Hestia, you know, with anything, but it's like, man, that sucks. It's a horrible story. Get drunk with all the townspeople who have some dances, you know? Let's do the harvest dance. That's what I'm saying. Let's do the dance. You guys want to have a dapper festival? You guys want to have the dapper dance? When an unmarried guy asks you to dance, it means he likes you. Oh. The two become. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't run away from your goddess, like Miyak and Hephaestus said. Respect, revere, and take care of her, just like Karm said. I like that. Normally, normally he would try to not do it, you know? So I like that. I like this music. It feels like I'm in like a Lord of the Rings or like Harry Potter, you know? Hearing all these stories of... Oh, and Rena's coming in right now. She gonna say Karn passed away? Brigid. Shouldn't all goddesses and goddesses know each other? She and I were best friends, wow. Aww.
Ooh. Sorry, I had to go blow my nose. Someone is uh, cutting onions downstairs. What true love is right there. Uh. We all need someone like Castia in our life. That's just that's just for sure. Oh, R.I.P. Car, man. How are we gonna go it off like on such a good note after that? Come on, man. Oh, Aspie made it out. Good shit. <laughs> Ares got arrested or whatever. Good. Oh, that was a nice episode, man. Ugh. What the hell? What the absolute hell is she? All right, season three is gonna be crazy. This episode was definitely unique. It was definitely more of a philosophical slash moral debate where to me, it was like, I think it hit me a little harder just because I think it has to do with a lot of things of death, the afterlife, you know, are you gonna meet someone later, you know, stuff like that. Whereas like, it's the, it's the classic uh, question. Is it better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all? Some people would say no, it's better to have not loved at all. Some people would say yes, it is most definitely better to have those memories of that person. I, I've never personally lost someone very major to myself, but uh, I have been trying personally to come into terms with that, like just to prepare myself for when something like that does eventually happen, you know? Because you really do have to think, you just gotta think positively of the memories you had with that person or that loved one because the memories of them being here definitely outweigh the cost of them leaving stuff like that you know it's just like this was a very emotional episode i don't even want to talk about it right now thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go eat some food relax take a take a breather whatever i'm out of here guys peace out have a great day love you guys